Hello people, I am the Real Comic Book Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking about Action Comics issue 987. So that's the newest issue of Action Comics, just came out today. So if you have not read it and you want to know and you don't want anything spoiled for you, then do not watch this video. There's your spoiler warning because I'm going to be spoiling who Mr. Oz is, and it's a big reveal. And so if you haven't read the issue, I recommend you not watch this video unless you don't care, unless you're not following Superman or anything, you just don't really care. Then that case, hello. But otherwise Otherwise, I'd say leave because I will be spoiling stuff. So there is your spoiler warning because the, the reveal of Mr. Oz is huge and I did not see it coming. So let's talk about this real quick. The issue opens up with Mr. Oz just uh, just torturing Metallo, basically. He's talking to Metallo. Metallo's like, hey, man, you know, I don't, like, I just help me, please. And, and he just rips Metallo's kryptonite heart out and just like, yeah. That he's just like, you will no longer torture Superman. You will, he says you will never use remnants of his world against him again when he rips out Mattello's heart. And then throughout the rest of the issue, we just see Superman helping people. And we get a part that I really like seeing. We got to see Superman, and, well, Clark and Lois interacting with the Daily Planet staff, along with their son, John, which is cool. Because now that they can resume their lives at the Daily Planet, I like seeing them back there again. Because generally, we don't really... We haven't gotten a lot of that in Superman Rebirth since Rebirth started, but they've been working their way back to getting them back to the Daily Planet, so now they're back, and I like that. I'm happy to see them back at the Daily Planet. I can't wait to see some more stuff happen with them and the Daily Planet crew, with Perry and Jimmy Olsen and Steve Lombard and stuff, and it's just, it's cool. I love seeing uh, Steve Lombard just trying to be like, hey, I'm the coolest dude ever. This kid will, should love me because I used to play football and things like that. I like seeing him try to get on John's good side, and just John's not having it so yeah I like those interactions and then we get more mysterious stuff with Mr. Oz and we see Mr. Oz sort of creating uh, bad things happening in the world bad scenarios and we see Superman go around the world trying to stop it and he's he's stopped some but then he's late to most of them and he's just like what is going on why is all this bad stuff happening at once and then Mr. Oz comes out and he's like hey I, it's, it's me, and he's and Superman's like, oh, it's, it's you, Mr. Oz, who are you? Because Mr. Oz has been around for a good bit in action comics, causing ma causing well, some good stuff, some bad stuff. Like, in the revenge storyline, he helped John, so he's, he's not all bad, but we see him and Superman have a conversation, and then he tells him who he is, and we find out that it's Jor-El, it is Superman's birth father from Krypton, jor -El. and I'm just like, okay, I wasn't the biggest fan of this reveal, I wasn't exactly happy with this, because I think way too many people survive Krypton, I'm hoping it turns out it's maybe another Earth jor -El, or it's not actually jor -El or something, I don't want it to be actual jor -El. if that's the case, and that's stupid, I really hope that's not the case, because I just, I was never a fan of how many people survived Krypton, because you have so many damn people that are from Krypton. You have, I mean, well, first off, Superman, who's supposed to be the last son of Krypton. But then is, you also have the bottled city of Kandor. So that's, you know, the the entire uh, capital of, of Krypton. They survived. You also have Lex, uh, not Lex. You have Zod and his cronies that survived in the Phantom Zone. You have Sur Supergirl. She survived. There's so many people. And originally it was just Superman. If I had it my way, I would have Superman and Zod being the only ones that survived Krypton, so that way you have Superman who's still all alone, he's the only Kryptonian, but there's actually one other Kryptonian, and the only other Kryptonian that survived wants to kill him and hates him and is, is, is his enemy, so he's basically just as alone, but it's kind of worse because he's finally found someone else that is like him, but that person wants him dead, so I feel like that that's how I would do it, I wouldn't have Supergirl or the Bottle City of Kandor or any of Zod's cronies or anything like that, I'd just have Superman and Zod, and that's how I'd do it. But instead, we have so many Kryptonians, it gets kind of annoying. I will say this, that I'm happy about the reveal, though. It didn't get spoiled for me, and it wasn't an announcement or anything like that. I'm really happy about that, because you know how rare it is in comics to have a surprise these days? It almost never happens, because they know they'll get bigger sales and they make an announcement. Why surprisingly kill Wolverine off when we can an announce months in advance the death of Wolverine so we can get more sales? Why, you know, we, we should announce it. Instead of this being the return of Jor-El, they're just like, who is Mr. Oz? And it's like, huh, everyone was speculating. At first, I thought it might be, uh... But it might be pre nuked to Lex Luthor, but then when I saw that he uh, he had blue eyes, I was like, nope, it's not him. And a lot of people thought it was Superboy Prime, and that maybe it could be him, but I never once thought it was Jor-El. I'm really hoping it's still not Jor-El. This is just a facade or something. It's like another Earth Jor-El or something, because if it's Jor-El, that kind of... 
eh, I'm not a fan of that, and it kind of takes away part of Superman's story, and I just don't like it. But again, props to Dan Jurgens for not spoiling this prior to this releasing, because so many writers and things will just spoil the reveal, and the, and then when they don't spoil it, it's super obvious. Like, the reveal of Godspeed and the Flash rebirth, everyone knew who Godspeed was. It was so obvious. But in this, it wasn't obvious at all. There was no one spoiled it, so it's like, man, there was an actual surprise in comics for once. We haven't had that in forever. I can't think of the last time... We had a big surprise in comics. Maybe I, I don't even know, like a, something to this level, because it's been a while to have something this big not be spoiled or anything prior to the issue. Like holy crap, I can't believe it. I know there there will still be people that like spoil it on Twitter or something, but I'm just talking about from like DC and the writers and artists themselves that didn't spoil it. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, so. I'm just, I'm not a fan of Jarrell coming back, but who knows, it could work, we'll see. Uh, overall, the issue was just an okay issue, it was actually one of the weaker issues of Action Comics. You could tell this this issue was all just about the setup of who is Mr. Oz, that was it, there wasn't anything, like, you know, th there wasn't anything else substantial to the issue that much, it's not that great of an issue, because most, because really, lately Action Comics has been pretty good, but this issue was just like, okay, this is who Mr. Oz is. Now we'll get into more of the actual good stuff later on. But yeah, if you read this issue, or even if you haven't, just what did you think of the reveal of Mr. Oz? I really want to know your thoughts on that. What did you think? Were you happy about it? Were you not happy about it? Uh, were you in between? Because I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not happy that it's, that, it's, uh, that Mr. Oz is Jarrell, but I'm happy that it was an actual surprise because it's so rare in comics these days. But yeah, please let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on all this that happened in this issue with who Mr. Oz is. I really want to know your guys opinions on Mr. Oz's identity but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later yeah, I grew up with the prenup, mama sick, you must see up Now noticing I'm getting caught cracker and getting beat up But I stayed up long nights, working hard on my craft Gave a fuck about the bullies or anyone in my path 